you just a quick rundown how to transfer <clears throat> like let's say when you want to then change the density of the groom how to transfer the attributes onto the new density so what we first have to do is disable all the modifiers because what we want to do is we want to transfer um, the hair, the attributes back onto this state, which is basically the state without any modifiers active. And to have like a clean transfer, that's also what we want to have the shape at when we want to stash things. So when we go down here, and then just disable all the modifiers. That's now how it looks. And this is also the same shape that we had at the very beginning, but with a difference that we will have all the attributes. Once we have disabled all of these attribute creating, um, nodes here like the wrangles and attribute remaps so we want to disable all of those now because especially the add uh, delete attributes are like removing all of those so now if we just re-enable this, let's make just sure that everything looks correct. Yeah, no. So basically, the only thing that I should disable at the moment is the delete attribute triangle here. That's the only thing we want to disable when we are going to stash so yeah only the delete attributes and then there is more on this side So these ones only have a wrangle. The attributes are not actually deleted. So we want to now again disable all modifiers. Make sure all the attributes are present. Clump one mask, clump two mask, clump three, frizz one mask, and fly away. So this is all we want. Now, let's stash this. Now, as we can see, all the attributes are there. Now, let's move this all the way up. And then, just so that, um, um, just so that these are not going to mess with the transferred attributes we need to now disable all of these but before i'm going to do that i'm going to also reset these maps because these have all paint map information and basically we don't want any of those active so i guess we have to first enable the last note here and then just click reset all changes and then just to again have a sanity check enable the notes and make sure that things look different which i'm not sure if they are So basically when we look at the hair 
yeah, this is not gonna look right. But now, before we transfer the attributes, we want to like remove all of these, like disable all of these, because as I said, it's going to interfere otherwise with the transferred attributes. Um, actually, these need don't need to be um, reset or anything because they are have like their very own thing going on here unless we change the density of the guides in any way obviously then this is going to be required for them as well but this will be like basically the same procedure that we're going to do with it for the hair um but for now we are rather concerned just with the hair itself and now what I'm going to do, create a tr attribute transfer node. So now we want the stash to go to the one that we want to transfer attributes from, and then the hairs too. And we want to disable primitives. We don't want any primitives. And then we also want to is, um, exclude width and also curve view because those will be already created uh, down the line and now let's enable this and inject it back in and now if we go to the paint node and then activate it you can see that there's already some paint information on there and to cross test if the attributes have been transferred correctly, we can just directly connect the stash back on here. Oh, but to actually see a difference, we have to obviously change the, um, the density of the hair, right? So let's change the density to something different, like let's say, 14 and let's also just here in the guides actually let's not do that right now um go back to the hair gen because now we will see the amount of hair has changed right so this was the stash and then now if we check the hair here it should be different in um, hair count Yeah, I mean, we can just see it by like middle clicking here. We can see primitives 52,000, and here we have 92,000. So that is then already kind of proof that it's different. Um, now, again, going to the paint tool, we can see that the attributes have been like transferred. And just to cross check, we do just plug in the stash itself to see the difference. And we can see the attributes have been successfully transferred over. If you want to be like really um, accurate with the transfer, you can then also here increase the max sample count, which might make sense. So now if we check it again here, so this is with the transfer, this is before the transfer, it's looking good. So now let's go to the first large clumps. So this is then already the transfer and this is before the transfer. As you can see, it looks pretty identical just with a different density. And now if we just move down the line, I mean, just to cross check again, we can just go to any other modifier and then just swap out the stash for the new hair density here. And you can see it looks pretty much identical. And then we further move down here. Now with the frizz guide process node, for example, and then let's compare that as well again.
as you can see this has been also transferred successfully so and this is now the last node let's just check that as well original and the one with the new density so this is exactly what you would expect different density but the shape of the hair is identical so with this workflow you can absolutely also change the word count of the original hair and everything and then transfer everything over just the difference now is that because we already started painting after initial transfer you won't be needing these um the wrangle anymore because the wrangle is you know just creating the attribute and then the remap is initially adding values to the um to those attributes which have been already done and then baked in into the paint tool so that's why we don't really need that anymore and as you can see here again let's compare it to before and after the transfer work perfectly Let's go like to some other paint tools just to compare. So this was also before the after the transfer, before the transfer. Let's check out some others here. Maybe something more complex looking. But I guess, but I guess in general, the maps were quite simple in this case. But as you can see, it, um, the transfer works pretty much perfectly. And what you can basically do now is, after the transfer, you can then basically just like go on and um, paint on the this new um, stuff again, right? So that is all working well. And then if at some point you're um, going to have to transfer again, you basically do exactly the same thing and it's going to work out without problems. And then here I've just repeated the same procedure, but with a just more complex kind of setup. So originally, like I have um, just painted the maps differently so we can actually see something um you know have something accurate uh, and telling so now if i you see if i'm like just swapping out the stash which is the original with the new density it's like working perfectly fine and now we can again just move through the modifiers one by one so this is the already transferred version and this is the original as you can see, they're identical, just different in density and in the CV count as well. Going further down the line here, this is again already the transferred, the original stashed version working perfectly. Again, we can select a map here of the clump 2 to get a comparison. So no problem there the transfer then works perfectly you can still change the density and everything and um, you can still maintain your um, painted maps and the look is still going to look uh, identical and once you've done that you can then again as i said just continue working as you were doing it before start painting your maps and just continue with your work really. That's it.